The Faith Chapel United Pentecostal Church, located at 1 Renfield Avenue in Kingston, Jamaica, welcomes you to our broadcast, Behold, He Cometh. It is indeed our pleasure to have you watching and listening in on our service today. As end-time prophecies unfold themselves, revealing the imminent return of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no better opportune time to give your life to Jesus than today. As you listen in, may the Lord richly bless you in all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Every day they pass me by. I can see it in their eyes. Empty people filled with fear. Going who knows where On they go through private pain Living fear to So f- 
need you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus saved. He still does. He will make of you someone new. Cleanse the sins that was. The Holy Spirit whispers, no more must you be enslaved. So take a look at Calvary, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus, yes, you still do. God will make of you someone new, cleanse the sins that were the whole. unsaved you did not just came here of your own accord it was God that pulled you here and despite what you're going through I want you to know that you can live here today as with God as your Lord and Savior all you need to do is turn over everything to him. You might have tried everything, but you never tried Jesus. Give him a try. Let me invite everybody everywhere to just stand to your feet right now. We have sung his praises and we have worship. And it comes time to hear what the Lord would have man for the hour to speak to us. We want to invite Brother Dwayne Nelson to come and speak to us as if he led of God this morning. May be seated. I will I'll see you in the rapture. I'll see you at the meeting in the air. Oh, and with our blessing.
voce Final event left. See you in the rapture. I will see you win the rapture. I see you in the rapture. I will see you in the rapture. I see you in the rapture. I will see you at that meeting. The final event that is left. Final event that is left. again I see you in the rapture I see you in the rapture I see you in the rapture I will see I see you you will I see you in the, the rapture. rapture I will see I see you I see you, you. I see you in the rapture, the rapture. I see you I, I I'll see you will see one last you event at that meeting the final event in the end, you got to be in it. You got to be in it. And we Hallelujah. Bless Savior. Yes. I live and reign, and reign forever. forever. I see you. 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 Some sweet day. I see you in the rapture. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I will see you. I will see you in the rapture. Everything that you're going through. I will see you. I see everyone. Don't worry about that. In the rapture. But I see you in the rapture. Sing 
it again. Going oh, home. Go. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing to hold, nothing to hold me. me. I've caught a glimpse. Oh, I I've caught a glimpse. Caught a glimpse. Yes, yes. Of that beautiful, that beautiful. Praise God. Praise God. We are going home. We Sing it again, sing it again. Sing it again, sing it again. We are going home. We are going home. Go, we are going home. We are going home. There's just nothing. There is nothing. Nothing. Nothing to hold. I've caught a glimpse. I I've caught a glimpse. Caught a glimpse. Yes, yes. Of that heaven. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are going. We are So Beulah land, Beulah land. Beulah. Just magnify him in your own. Ah! Magnify him in your own way. Hallelujah. One final event. Hallelujah. The rapture we cannot afford to miss it.
I'm going to invite you to stand, me. I'm reading from two passages of Scripture. The first one is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19. Second one is St. John chapter 14 from 1 to 3. I read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 19. It says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable, if in this life. Only. Well, let's hear what Jesus has to say. Then John chapter 14 from 1 to 3. Encouraging word. He says, let not your heart. If you are in this life. You'll be most miserable. But he says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believed in God, believe also in me. If you don't have a house, Verse 2 says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. But I have gone, I go. I go to prepare a place. For you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Let not your heart be troubled. I've gone to prepare a place for you. Dear God, you take full control. And help your people to understand that you have gone to prepare that place. I pray for your anointing. That you will just open the floodgates. And just let your anointing reign in this space. Change hearts. Save soul. Take full control. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. If anything that can be shaken. It will be shaken. If you place your trust in the economy, I'm sorry for you. If you place your trust in business, I'm sorry for you. 
if you place your trust in academics, I'm sorry for you. Because every ground that is not built on the solid rock will be shaken and it will sink. I'm coming to feel uncomfortable in this world. Because in this world is just misery and suffering. Heartache on every side. Strife. Sexual immorality. It's becoming an uncomfortable place to live in. Uh, there's no hope in this world. Uh, things are getting tougher and tougher as the time go by. If it's not an internal pressure, it's an external pressure. And it's just pointing that the Lord is on his way. And that we better get right with God. I don't know what next God is waiting on. But when that happens, then comes the judgment. Then comes the rapture. Amen. If here is hot already, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss the rapture. Uh, because I know it's going to get hotter. Amen. And as the child of God, sometimes we are troubled and perplexed on every side. Amen. But it's a good thing we have Jesus on our side. Amen. And he said that I'll not leave you. I I've gone to prepare a place for you. Hey, just go, go on going through. I'm coming back for you. Uh, I see your hurt and your pain. But I have a better land for you. Where I am, there you will be also. Amen. It's so easy to be distracted. It's so easy to caught up in these affairs of this life. Amen. And sometimes we wonder if... If, 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 if we are rapture conscious, amen. This rapture thing is not preached like how it used to be preached, amen. It's not talked about like it used to be talked about, amen. I wonder if it's that time where Jesus is going to put in his appearance when we, we're not thinking about him, amen. But here today, he want you to know that he's coming back again. And you better be ready. So it is within the day and now. He preached about the impending judgment. They didn't listen. When it came, they were knocking for the art door to open. But it was God who shut it. And if God shut it, no man can open it. Don't be distracted by the things that are happening. But you have to be focused on the final event. That's about to take place. You can know that God is coming back again. When the homosexuals can have a Bible, you can know that God is coming back again. You can feel it. You can see it. He's coming back again. And so it is for us to be conscious to meet him. 
Amen. If you don't love one another, it's time to love one another. If you can't agree with one another, it's time to agree with one another. If you can't work with one another, it's time to work with one another. Because God soon come. The rapture soon take place. Let Jesus be the center of your mind. Let be Jesus be the center of your joy. Nothing else should ever matter than Jesus. Amen. Amen. We should work for one common goal. And that's to help each other to make it in. Amen. Amen. It's good to depend on Jesus. Amen. It's good to depend on him in every situation. Amen. He's looking out for you. Amen. His desire for you is to be where he is. Amen. In spite of everything that is happening around you, his desire is to, for you to be where he is. Amen. He's not a father who doesn't care for you. Amen. He's touched with every infirmities, every sickness, every circumstance that you're facing. He's touched with it. It's rapture time. It's rapture time. Hallelujah. Help me, God, to make it in the rapture. I just feel it. The coming is so near. It's so near. You know, I said it in a class. I said to the class, we we're looking at the book of Enoch. Well, we were looking at Enoch, not the book of Enoch. We were looking at Enoch. The Bible said that after he begot Methuselah, he began to walk with the Lord. I know you know that Methuselah mean, well, Methuselah is the man who lived the longest, 969 years. But there's something else that you should know about Methuselah. In Genesis chapter 5, Verse 21, it says, And Enoch lived sixty and five years and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah three hundred years. And he begot sons and daughters. Notice, the Bible never mentioned his other sons and daughter, but he mentioned Methuselah. When the Bible mentioned a name, it's significant. Now we have to look at what Methuselah mean. Methuselah means, some interpret means that when he dies, the judgment. Or when he is dead, it shall come. Methuselah was Noah, was, was Noah grandfather. What significant thing happened in Noah days? The significant thing that happened was the great flood. Enoch received a prophecy that when his son died, the judgment, and that judgment was the great flood would come. After realizing that if, he, if his son died, the judgment would come, Enoch walked with God like never before. 
He walked so perfect before God. God, God just took him. When Methuselah died in that same time period, the great flood came. We do not know the hour or the minute when our Lord shall take us home. Therefore, it behold every man to walk with God like never before and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because as night for the day is coming back. Something. You better be right with God. Come on, do it now. Amen. He's coming back any minute now. You see the sign. You see the time. Let's walk before God like never before. Let's turn from our ways and walk and follow God. If you're not yet saved, God made Adam and Eve in his image. And they reflect God. They reflect the glory of God. And his aim, he said that they should be fruitful and multiply with the objective that they would have righteous seed. That this earth will be filled with the glory of God. There's something about God that he loves. He loves when souls give their life to the Lord, to him. He loves a transformation. That is why when God told his disciples that they should do what? Go to what? Judea and Samaria. In other words, witness where they were. They were still in Jerusalem having things come on among themselves. So everything was okay. But that wasn't what God wanted. What God wanted was for them to go all out, Judea and Samaria and the uttermost part of the earth. Because the thing that God is interested in is his glory. Is his glory. So he went, he wants people to know who he is. And that he's a loving and a kind God. He wants people to know his attribute that there is none like him. And that his fame must spread throughout the world. So they wasn't doing what they were doing. What God did. God wake up havoc. Paul. So, well first was Saul. And he torment the church. But out of that Paul. I mean Philip went to where? Samaria. And a lot of them believed. And was baptized. And they called for Peter and John. And when Peter and John come. What happened? They got the Holy Ghost. His objective for you who are not yet saved is to be filled with the glory. He wants you to have him on the inside. That when he's ready to put in his appearance, you will make it. As night for a day. The rapture is going to take place.
focus on that. Those who haven't received the Holy Spirit I'm going to ask you to come to the altar. If you haven't received the well, if I put it another way. If you want the Holy Ghost, come. Amen. We to ask the singers to come behind me. Folks, is it impossible for those that are here? To receive the Holy Ghost. Is it impossible? Is it impossible for those here to receive the Holy Ghost? Just before the musicians begin to play. I want the altar workers stand in their position. We're to ask the bit the saints, all the saints to stand. And I'm just going to invite as much saints who believe that these souls can get the Holy Ghost this afternoon to come. Something can happen this afternoon. As much says, who believe. As much saints who believe. As much saints who believe, who believe, who believe that these souls can receive the Holy Ghost. Let's come a little bit closer. This is what God is interested in. Men being saved so they can meet him. Come a little bit closer. We're going to unite our faith. We're going to ask God to open up the floodgate. This is an apostolic church. There's power in the name of Jesus. Woo. What I want you to do just before we sing is to all the apostolic believers all the apostolic believers just begin to stretch forth your hands and with your faith 
Just begin to pray. Open up the floodgates, Jesus. Open up the floodgate, Jesus. This is what you want, Jesus. This is according to your will, Jesus. Save soul, Jesus. Let your spirit reign, Jesus. I know you hear me when I pray, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send your anointing. Send your power. These souls need you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open up it, Jesus. Open up the door. Open up the floodgates. Open up the floodgates. Open up the floodgates. In the name of Jesus, open up the floodgates. Let your anointing. Come down, Jesus. Come down, Jesus. Come down. Come down, Jesus. Come down, Jesus. I know you are hearing me, Jesus. I know you hear me when I pray, Jesus. Come down, Jesus. This is what you want, Jesus. Come down, Jesus. Come down, come down. Come down, Jesus. Come down, come down, come down. Deliverance, 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 deliverance in the name of Jesus. Deliverance, breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. A breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down in the name of Jesus. Touch our Jesus. Touch our Jesus. Touch our Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. You're anointed. This is apostolic time. 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 Send it down, send it down. Send it down, send it down. Amen, apostolic. Use your God-given privilege. And begin to lose the atmosphere. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. There are souls in need of you, Jesus. They can't go on without you, Jesus. They want to see you, Jesus. Send down your anointing, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Jesus. They are desperate for you. They are desperate for you. They are desperate for you. Something going to happen. 
something going to happen. There's 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 something going to happen. Open up it. Open up it. Let it rain. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on. One accord, brethren. One accord. Yes. One accord. One accord. Yes. Yes. One accord. One accord. Yeah, one accord. You do it, Jesus. You got the glory, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Send it down. Send it down. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down. He's here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Apostolic begin to use your God-given privilege. You have the power. Whatsoever you bind and lose, you have the power. Center of 
But let me tell you, church of the living God, the church of God is alive and well, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? If Jesus, a baptism in Jesus' name is what we must preach as a church, then baptism in Jesus' name is what we are going to preach. This is the way to salvation. If God say you need to have the Holy Ghost, then by God we're going to preach that you must have the Holy Ghost.